Hey Libra, welcome on my channel, Triple Two Tarot. I'm going to do your bonus August 2021 general love reading. Let's see what's going on with your person. What are they feeling? Their current energy. What is going next to happen? What do they want to say to you? All that stuff. So keep an open mind. It's a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. You can reach out to me in authentic ways uh, through my email address and Instagram link. Sun, Moon, Rising and any planets if you have in Libra, you can buy this reading. Role can be reversed. Energy can be changed. So just take what resonates with you. Sun, Moon, Rising or any planets if you have in Libra, you can buy this reading. Let's see what's going with your person. What are they feeling for you? And what's that, all that stuff? Queen of Cups. Three of Wands. Knight of Coins. What's going on with your person? Seven of Wands. Ten of Wands. Oh my God. Temperance is popping in every reading. King of Pentacles and Four of Cups. Hmm. Let's see. Another four. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords energy here and Hermit, Priestess. So we have a Pisces and Virgo axis going on here. So you could have Pisces, Virgo, South node, north node, polar axis in astrology, in your natural chart. You could be dealing with Libra. It could be another Libra, but I'm getting Pisces, Virgo, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, could be Aries. Earth sign is very heavy here. Or whoever this person is, they have a lot of water and earth in their chart. So we have the king and queen popping up here. Look at this. So we have the couple already, but the way she loves it, but she's also frustrated, right? Wait, tired of waiting. Uh, this could be your energy, Libra, that you're tired of waiting for this person. So I feel like right now, you both are, one person wants emotional contentment, emotional relationship, emotional, uh, you can say that commitment or marriage, are wanting to settle down, wanting to progress things with the three of wands, wanting to move this relationship onto a next level. And the other person, especially masculine, especially masculine, or you can say male, male energy, with the king of pentacles, knight of pentacles, palace of coins, and four of pentacles, all this green energy. If this is the earth sign, good luck. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, they're all focused on their money. I feel like this person is committed to their career right now and their focus is all about making money, making coins, settling down, you know, in their future, in their career. They're very slow. This person's progress is very slow towards you or this person took years to come towards you. This person with the seven of wands and pellets of coins working very hard to build this empire for themselves, working very hard saving money, uh, working hard for money, working hard for their house. They may be wanting to buy a house. They may be wanting to um, build a company one day in the future. They may be an entrepreneur. They may have already a company. They are, could be a manager or bank manager or someone who is um, CEO or on a higher level. And they really are, maybe they're not because they're starting something with the king of coins, uh, knight of coins, because they're seeing their future is like wanting to do this. So they're really focused on your, their future. And they're really busy to making their money, building their money, finances, and all that stuff. This person is holding back for of coins, no doubt. And if this person is already rich and wealthy and they have enough money and they could have a good house, luxurious house, they could be uh, well known or they could be, um, maybe they're working hard, let's say a businessman or woman that you're dealing with, or they have a, this entrepreneur or business mind person. So four of pentacles, they could have a, also this fear of losing the money. So they don't want to waste the time. But at the same time with the four of cups, this person could be missing you and thinking about you. You are definitely in this person's mind. So this person has a choice to make with this all to four. So they're a very stubborn person. So I'm, I'm strongly getting like Capricorn, Aries, um, 
energy from this person. They could be water sign, but they could be Sagittarius, Aquarius, um, Pisces could be, Pisces moon or Cancer moon that you're connecting with. So they're not sure about this connection right now. There's a lot of confusion here. This person sees the opportunity with you. They definitely see that that you are the, this biggest opportunity in their life and they can, they could have already feelings for you, but they're not ready because this person has a lot of responsibilities on their head, on their shoulder. They're tired. This could be someone that you have been dealing with longer time. This is not a new person. You have been dealing with this person for a long time. And if you're looking for new love, then definitely you have a choice to move on from this person. So I'm not feeling it. I'm strongly feeling this is someone that you already know. Ten of Wands. You've gone through a lot with this person. You have been waiting. You have the Queen of Cups here. A lot of love and emotions involved here. Romantic feelings involved here. Waiting for this cup. Waiting for this offer from this person that they're thinking but not giving you. Okay? This person is holding back. Or maybe they're not letting you in in their life because they're not ready right now. They're not ready to take responsibility. They're not ready to take responsibility of the future or marriage or whatever. They're not ready. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this person has a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities on their shoulder right now. But with the Three of Wands, they're hopeful, they're waiting that things will get better in the future. This could be someone who is afar from you. Could be in a different country because the ships are coming in. This person could be Sun in Aries that you're connecting with. I'm also getting with the Sagittarius energy, with this temperance. This person maybe want to th mend things with you. If this person was not... If this person was all about work, 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 work and money and finances, maybe now they're thinking about to open up to this opportunity of love because they know that you are this greatest opportunity for them love. You are everything that they want in a romantic partner, right? They could have already... If they are settled down already, they have a good money, they have a finances... They could be, they have a stable or independent job, okay? They have enough money to protect, to provide, to take responsibility of you or family. Then definitely this person is thinking about this love. They're wanting to open up to this opportunity of love. They're wanting to try. But this is someone who is definitely all about work. This is someone who also could be a workaholic person. I don't know, it could be you, your energy too, Libra. Maybe that's you thinking about this person like maybe... You need to think about this person now, about love and romance. You may be wanting to open up to romance now. With the temperance here, this could be a healing energy between you and this person, uh, like someone that you're wanting to reconcile. I'm not feeling you dated this person. This is someone that you never dated. This is a very like a situationship energy here. You, you maybe thought it's one-sided love and you put all the effort. This person is not willing to do anything. And now this person is thinking about it. Maybe you stop talking to them. This was someone who was definitely a runner with a seven of swords and hermit. For some of you, this person was this person ghosted you. Or maybe they never replied to you. They never talked to you. They never give you the answer, yes or no, if they're into you or not. This person was ghosted like in your life. Even though you were there, available to this person, you love you wanting to love this person and all that stuff. But this person, high priestess, hermit, seven of swords, this person was silent. And I feel like now you both are giving each other silent treatment. And if you walked away from this person and you're also not talking and not in a communication, I feel with a justice card, this person is coming. It's not over yet with the justice and death. Yeah, all this major arcana could be Scorpio or Libra. Yeah, this is not over yet. This person is coming for reconciliation, for rebirth. Okay, this is not over yet. All this major arcana talking about something huge and big happening between you and this person. This person is definitely going to shock you. This is that person coming back to you. You maybe moved on from this person, but they are not. They are not. They are thinking about you. You maybe blocked this person for some of you with the seven of wands here because things were not moving forward or this person was not taking action. Their focus were all about money or they could be still focused on money, but they're waiting for you with the three of wands to come back into their life because this person really wants you too in their life. But they're not ready to give you right now everything that you want. Maybe in the future. With the three of wands in the future. Because right now, this person has a lot of burden and responsibilities. And they can't escape from it. They're really busy making their money. Their future. Their career. Maybe that's why you're frustrated. Tired of waiting. We have a mask. Yeah. I feel this person is spying you. Could be from fake profile. The way this person is here, look at this. 
this is definitely creepy vibe to me, like a Scorpio energy here. Could be water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but Scorpio energy is very heavy here. Um, this person uh, is definitely spying on you. They're hidden. I told you, they're ghost. They're ghost, okay? They're ghost. But they're watching you, but silently. They're wearing a mask. Even though they have feelings, even though they want to be with you, but they're not opening up. They're not. This person could have a fear of losing money. Or could be fear of losing... Could be a distance here. Maybe that's why this person feels like it's not going to work out. Yeah, roll the dice. Look at this. This person is ready to take the U-turn for you. Like, really. It's like their plan backfired on them. They want you now. They really want to take the risk on this connection with the roll the dice here. They really want to. We have a romantic feelings. This person has romantic feelings for you and they're going to reveal it. If you already with this, with, were with this person, you dated this person, they're coming back. But this is a ghosting energy. Like this is someone, they ghosted you. I feel this person was always silent. They never give you answer. They never tell you how do they feel. But you tell them. You express your feelings or vice versa. Yeah, there's a travel involved here. Maybe that's why. Yeah, there could be a long distance connection here between you and this person. For some of you, this is a new love. Someone is a new interested in you, watching you from afar and interested in you to date you. And they're going to roll the dice like they're going to just send you a message. Expect a message from this person. This new lover could be. This could be a new lover, someone who is hiring like a secret admirer, but creepy way, watching you and observing you and want to be with you. For others of you, this is a rekindle energy, like someone that you had feelings and it's you gone through a lot and now they're ready to for this love they're really thinking about to open up to you and ready for this love okay well, let's see what this person want to say to you their messages i wish i could see you again soon so this person definitely waiting for you i hope you can forgive me yeah they know that they they hurt you whoever this person is they know that they hurt you so they're waiting for forgiveness they're waiting for your message or text or sign our connection is cosmic and I love that. Yeah, this is not over from this person. This is not over from this person. Will I ever see you again? So you, you stop talking to each other. You stop. This is that person that you stop talking to. But they're waiting. They're hopeful things are going to get better. They're hopeful that you will be together again. There's so much I have to say and I don't know how. Yeah, this is that's why this person is watching you. I have loved you all along. I have loved you all along. This person always loved you, but they never express it. They never tell you. Even though they were working hard, they were focused on their money. You were always on this person's mind. I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you were always on this person's mind. They always loved you. This is, this is true love. This is, but this person never expressed it. They were silent, but they were watching you. They were observing you. They were keeping an eye on you. They were missing you, but they never expressed it because they were too busy or focused on their work and future. And still, this person loved you all along. They never. I'm very attracted to you. This person definitely is going to speak up to you, okay? Very soon. This is your reading. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.